Imagine you have to write an essay. You will probably want to plan out your ideas before beginning the writing process to make sure they make sense to your readers. Software design is a similar process. It has to do with creating an outline of a software program, like the one in your microwave, before programming it. Just like a civil engineer needs to know the physics behind what makes a building stand, a software engineer needs to know the theory behind what makes good software to create a solid outline. A technique used by software engineers is modularization, which consists in splitting the software's functionalities into several different parts, or modules, each executing a smaller part of the software itself. Ideally, these modules should be able to work individually to solve smaller sub-problems. For example, a module in your microwave could take care of the timer, but along with all other modules, like the ones responsible for the heating, works to cook your instant noodles and appease your hunger. But what makes software good? Software engineers use two different measures, cohesion and coupling, to understand this. Cohesion is a measure of how well each module works individually to solve each subtask. Coupling relates to the extent of how the modules in the program interact and interfere with each other. Ideally, a good program has a high cohesion, but a small coupling. Think of it like this. If you have a two or more course dinner, where each course represents a module, for example, pizza and ice cream, you would ideally want each course to be delicious on its own thus representing high cohesion, but you wouldn't want to put the ice cream on the pizza, as to demonstrate low coupling. Bad software design can have disastrous effects. Take the Ariane 5, a big rocket launched in 1996. It self-destructed 30 seconds after launch due to a failure in the main software. The system was badly designed because the backup software, which should have taken over in case of failure, crashed too as it was programmed in the same fashion. Instead, the backup software should have been programmed in a different way to avoid the same mistakes being made. So the next time your instant noodles are undercooked, you know who to blame.